Um. We are all feeling awesome, lalong lalo na may bago tayong tambayan at tahanan. Let's celebrate the feast here at the banquet hall, same time 3 to 5 p.m. with our dear coach JC Libiran. For venues and special announcements, huwag kalimutan i-check at i-like ang aming FB page, The Feast PICC Overflow PM. Ladies and gentlemen, today is the big day. We are excited to invite you to a spectacle of a lifetime. May kita natin ang angking galing at talento ng ating mga Feast Bay Area Builders sa isang kakaibang pagtatanghal. Come and witness, hashtag, the Feast Bay Area Thanksgiving Musical. It's one fun and entertaining musical experience. Let's all tag together, mamiyang gabi na ito, kaya see you there. Feast Bay Area, are you ready for Kerygma Conference 2019? Are we ready to be brave? Yes, we are a few months away from our very own Kerygma Conference, the biggest inspirational learning event in the country. We will launch the Kerygma Conference 2019 Brave here in PICC at its Super Sale Promo. All ticket buyers during that day will receive a free Brave t-shirt. This is a one-day promo only on August 4. Mark your calendars and see you there. Hello feasters, keep your fires burning. From books that will help you avoid burnout to books that will get you fired up, we have them all for you. Check the Burn Series reading list available at the Feast Book tables and online at shop.karigmabooks.com. Happy reading! Nakakahawa ba ang ngiti mo? Sige nga, smile ka naman! Is that smile making others feel good? Then why don't you use that undeniable charm and serve with us? Are you a young professional ages 20 to 30? Are you available on Sundays? And more importantly, are you willing to bless other people with your presence? Then we are excited to invite you to join the Warmth Ministry and serve God as an usher. Contact Kim for more information. Kaya, sali na! Are you a creative person? Are you also in the, into multimedia arts? Do you want to put those skills here in the feast? Well, this is your chance to showcase your passion. We are looking for awesome individuals who can be a part of our media ministry. Kindly check the screen for more details. We're all excited to see what your creative mind and hands can make. Kaya, sali na! Good afternoon, everyone. I can't hear you. Good afternoon. Smile the person beside you and tell to that person you came to the right place. Come on, if you're blessed as early as now, can we just give the Lord a big hand palapakan natin siya as early as now? It's a very special day for all of us. No? Maraming ganap dito sa Feast uh, Bay Area, most especially. We are having our most awaited musical concert tonight. Palapakan natin sa Lord for the, our hashtag, Trust and Gratitude. I think if, the re if ready yung slides, I want to show that, guys, yung slides that I prepared. Sige. Palapakan natin yung tech team natin for making ways. I understand that uh, stretch na stress sila when it comes to the team dahil yung iba available, no? Actually are all preparing for the tag concert. Anyway, uh, as we wait for that, it's supposed to be all the photos of the tag, no? Uh, the likes of Lion King, Aladdin, we'll have Les Miserables Mamaya, we'll have High School Musical, we'll also have uh, Camp Rock, and we'll also have uh, a lot of things in store for you. Most especially, we have a special guest, Mama Yang Gabi, the fourth impact. No, they really made an impact worldwide. And of course, Brother Bo Sanchez, Brother Albin Barcelona, Brother Adrian Panganiban, that's and And we also have Ang Wuling El Bimbo, no? guess what? The Sound of Music. And excited po ang Feast OPM because we'll be representing high school musical. Palapakan natin, no? Exciting and Mama ya. Just want to let you know that. Uh, this is actually for the benefit of our youth and campus missions. Now, you might be asking, you know, Coach JC, you know, there's a special time where we give our giving here. Bakit kailangan pa ng mga concerts like this? I'll be honest with you, hindi po sapat. And that's why we're really making this uh, 
concert so that we'll be able to raise funds for them. Uh, as of the moment, nabalitaan ko po, ang fees OPM when it comes to the tickets, sold out na po. So sorry, wala na pong tickets dito. All the tickets, pinagsama-sama na at the plenary. So to those of you who will still make habol, mamaya, pwede pa rin po, right after our session, get tickets for that because it really raises funds for our next generation. And I want you now to prepare your love offering because I want to let you know, again, the love offering, the regular envelope is for our expenses. Hindi po mura ang ating rent, ang ating mga equipments, and you know, our expenses here, this is the one covering it. Kaya maraming maraming salamat sa inyong regular giving. But on the other hand, to those of you, this is the last day for you to give your sacrificial offering to our servants, uh, Warmth Ministry. Can we just... Uh, uh, extend to them kung meron pang hahabol po. This is the last Sunday that you can give your sacrificial offering. Again, ang sacrificial offering natin, sige, warmth, can you just raise it up? Pakiready po yung mga sacrificial offering natin envelopes. It's not your regular giving. Medyo masakit kasi hindi ito yung normal na binibigay natin. We always do it during the month of Brother Bo's birthday, the July. And again, para saan po ito? It's for our special um you know, way of extending to our servants yung kanilang pong mga events, no? When we have to extend our help and support to them. I just heard kaninang umaga that, again, one of our servants passed away. And again, yung mga ganyang uh, pagkakataon po, uh, kailangan ng tulong nila. So, malaking bagay rin po ito when you also extend this. So, so those of you will still give your sacrificial offering, our servants in white, the warm ministry, can extend this to you. All right? So, marami marami salamat po sa inyong pagibigay. Can I ask you now to all stand? Tayo tayong lahat. Either it's your love offering, your sacrificial offering, lahat po yan, malaking bagay. You coming to the tag concert tonight, we won't just have fun, but definitely, we will become a blessing as well. So, okay lang po bang pakitaas nyo yung inyong mga love offering, the LO or the SO. I want you to raise it up, be proud. I want you to look up, smile, say this prayer after me, Lord, thank you for blessing me. Bless me more so that I can love more. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come on, we overflow for Jesus. Give your best to God today. Put your hands while you come here and you want to bless you. Clapping your hands like that. Because Jesus remains the same yesterday, today, and forever. And you can just come, come in, we just grow like that. You're ready to praise the one that remains. Everybody say, oh, 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 oh. oh.
Yeah. Stronger than the power of the grave. Constant through the trials and the chains. Because one thing remains. One thing. One thing remains. If you know the soul together now, your love never fails, it never gives up, never runs out on me. Love never fails, never gives up, never runs out on me. Your love never fails, it never gives up. Never runs out on me Your love And on and on And on and on and on and on it goes Cause it overwhelms and satisfies my soul And I never ever have to be afraid Because one Love never fails, never gives up, never runs down on me. Your love, yeah. You give the Lord, give the shout of praise. She remains the same. Yesterday and today, forever, if nothing will change. In death, in life, I'm confident and covered by the power of your great love. My death, my fear is pain. There's nothing that can separate my heart from your great love. Shout again. Save kami nakarating dito, and we know that coming here, we set aside things. Malamig kami mga bagay na iniisip. We're busy about so many things, but Lord, today we're making you first in our lives. Inuuna ka namin panginoon, and we know that when we make you first, everything else will be added on to us, Lord. There are people that we wanted to bring here, Lord, pero wala sila. So in their behalf, we'll be praying for them. In their behalf, we'll be representing them. And again, we're so excited for this big day as we receive your message for all of us. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Come on, let's give Lord a big hand. Let's celebrate God today. 
We want to welcome you here at the Feast OPM where you experience the overflow. So okay lang mapakingitian ng katabi. Paki-welcome siya, sabihin sa kanya, welcome home. Welcome to the family. And I wanted to welcome as well to those of you who have come for the first time. Sino po yung first time natin who have attended the Feast? Or maybe the Feast OPM, it's your first time to attend. Can we just give them a round of applause? Padapakan natin sila. Later on, right after the final song, we want to invite you sa harapan and our team will be giving you a special gift that we, you'll, be, you'll be able to use in your life no? as you fulfill your dreams. And it's always a blessing to serve you today. Most especially, binabati natin yung mga naonood live streaming to those of you who are watching online in our official page, The Light of Jesus Family, uh, and at the same time also in our Feast OPM. So, maaring na sa bahay sila, no? Uh, or later on, no? We want to invite you to join us here in our live event. Kasama na rin yung ating growing movement ng Feast Light all over the world. So, maraming maraming salamat. Hopefully, one of these days, mabisita niyo po kami in our live event. Amen? Everyone, take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Again, I'll be sharing with you that this week has been busy. No? How many here naging busy kayo ngayong linggo ng to? Yung iba, hindi nagtaas ng kamay, chill lang. No, nagbakasyon, di ba? But anyway, I'm sure there are things that we, you know, we were so busy about. And in my case, uh, talagang it was another full sked. Uh, yesterday was the Truly Rich Club's uh, Brother Bo's Wealth Conference. Can you see a raise of hands to those of you who were there? A few of you, but it was really a blessing. Massive number of people. Uh, I was able to attend it at least in the morning sessions because, you know, right after that, rehearsals pa rin po for our tag concerts. And Really, I'm, I'm letting you know that uh, sometimes you need to step back. Sabi nyo nga, step back. Step back from the things that you are doing. Like, sa na ipoko na ako yung madalas na nagsasalita, ako yung madalas na nag, uh, nasa harapan, but in this case, nandunong po ko sa likod, ako yung nakikinig. And it's just so good to, to listen. It's just so good to receive, to be nourished. I believe that's what we do here at the Feast every Sunday. Na after a busy sked, we receive nourishment, we receive the Word of God. And after noon, ready na ulit tayong harapin yung ating mga buhay, yung ating mga trabaho, yung mga bagay na pinagkakaabala natin. Yes? And uh, also, just want to share with you, of course, time with my family as well. Nagkaroon po kami ng, again, another photo shoot, special photo shoot with uh, our partner's great image. No? Palapakan natin sila for that blessing. Abangan nyo ngayong August at September. But siguro ang isang something that I'm looking forward is the, hindi lang yung photoshoot but really the process of doing it. I want to let you know that sa mga bagay na pinagkakaabalahan nyo, sometimes we go through the business but sometimes we forget. Oo nga, no? kahit busy ako, yung mga tao sa paligid ko, I can actually cherish that moment with them. Hindi lang basta magawa mo yung dapat mong gawin pero might as well enrich the people around you. And that's what we did. No? Bonding kami as a family. That also includes, of course, our tag rehearsal. Up until last night, would you believe that? We were still rehearsing. And it's, it's for you, my dear friends. Uh, we want to give you a great show. And at the same time, we, we also do this no, for a great you know, cost, which is actually for our uh, youth and campus missions. Excited na po kami. Tingnan ang katabi. Excited na ba siya for tonight? Sabihin mo sa kanya, let's tag together. So tonight po yan, 7 p.m. Right after our event, so that will be 5 to 7 onwards. Have a early dinner and then makita-kita po tayo. Expect long lines, so be patient. Huwag kayo ma-stress, huwag kayo ma-burn out, huwag kayo ma-depress. I hope that uh, it will be a time for you to chit-chat with the people around you during the lines. No? Sige, next natin guys. I'm trying this out eh. Yung ating clicker, hopefully it works. Sige nga. Dito dapat yan sa prompter guys. No? Pero kung hindi nag-work, supportan nyo lang ako. Anyway, it's our big day. Pakisabi sa tabi mo, it's our big day. At kapag big day, my dear friends, mean to say, it's big because God wanted to speak to us. For the past Sundays, if you've been attending the feast, either here in OPM or maybe in another feast, tapos dito kayo nag-catch up ng big day, we've been going through this series, Burn. It's about dealing and coping with stress, burnout, and depression. And for our big day, my dear friends, uh, we have special guests once again, mamaya. I'm gonna introduce them. Uh, Elaine Iwa, we have Julie Passes, we have Alan calling, no? Palampakan natin sila. Mamaya, excited tayo. Sige. And so far in this series of Burn, we were able to discuss ano yung mga root causes 
ng burnout. So, if you're coming for the first time, good news. This is a quick recap of that. Yung first root cause of burnout is this. We expect from stuff what only God can provide. Yan. Yan yung ating first cause. And our one big message there is this. Next. Your God's forever. Pakisabi sa mo, your God's forever. Diba? You don't put your worth in what, what the world gives to you. You put your worth in God's love for you. The second root cause of burnout is this. We want to control what we cannot control. Friend, dediretso yung kita, hindi mo kaya lahat kontrolin. Traffic, buhay ng ibang tao, yung boss mo, wala kang magagawa dyan. And that's why we were reminded in talk to stop struggling. Tapi kinakatabi, sabi sa kanya, stop struggling. The third root cause, and this is the last one of burnout, is being happy only with the extraordinary. Yung kailangan lahat bongga, kailangan extraordinary. Ay, nako, ito. Last Sunday, we were reminded that God is in your ordinary. Na sa mga ordinary yung pangyayari sa buhay mo, the day-to-day things, God is there. Hindi mo kailangan ng mga, ng feast every Sunday. Hindi mo kailangan ng tag concert just to experience Him in your life, in your family, in your friends, in your workplace, in the community, wherever you go, God is in your midst. Nandun ang Panginoon. And for our spe- special talk today, the title is Sunburn. Tignan na katabi, mukha bang na sunburn na yan? Nasunog. No? Pero ito, nasunog tayo sa pag-ibig ni Lord. Yes? Palapangan natin ang Panginoon for that. Our one big message is this. Trust and surrender. Trust and surrender. Because God is in control. God is faithful. Our God is always with us. Amen? Let's come before our God. Let's pray our family prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen? Come on, raise both of your hands up in the air and together we pray. Today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's Word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I am God's beloved. I am God's servant. I am God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name. Let's turn in the Word of God. Thy Word, Lord God. Thy Word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my pan. Our verse takes us, my dear friends, is from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 6, verse 31. Together, come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. Grabe, no? Ang galing ni Lord. Yung, yung akal natin sobrang spiritual, lagi. Sometimes it's just practical. And we discovered that last Sunday from the story of Eliza. Na minsan yung stress mo, yung burnout mo, yung depression mo, ang kailangan mo lang talaga magpahinga. But in this particular passage that we're reading, the Lord is the one inviting you. Si Lord, kasi when you look into the scriptures, busy rin siya. Sabi mo sa tayo mo, busy rin si Lord. Pero ito yung, ito yung magandang, magandang follow-up doon. Busy siya sa mga mahalagang bagay. We want to ask ourselves and reflect, ano ba ang mga pinagkakaabalahan mo? Kasi pag yung bagay na pinagkakabalan mo, hindi mahalaga, then maybe that's where the burnout, stress, depression comes in. Pero kapag mahalaga yon, it actually fuels you, it energizes you, it ignites you. In the case of the Lord, busy siya sa marami mga bagay, pero mahalaga yun sa puso niya. And this is something that we will always see in the story. Busy siya, after niya magpagaling, after niya magpat- magturo, after niya gumawa ng mga Kamangha mga mga bagay, what does the Lord do? He steps back, He looks for a quiet place, and He rests. Ibig sabihin, bago pa imbitahan tayo ng Diyos magpahinga to go to a quiet place, He models and He shows to us na siya mismo ginagawa niya yun. Bago siya magsabi sa ating magpahinga ka, siya rin nagpapahinga. Kung ang Diyos nga, kung si Jesus nga nagpapahinga, bakit ikaw hindi mo magawang magpahinga. Tingnan ng katabi. Ngitian mo siya, sabihin mo sa kanya, friend, pwedeng magpahinga. 
It's okay to rest, but you don't have to quit. It's okay to rest, but you don't have to quit. In the case of the Lord, after niya magpahinga, He goes back again, and ano, ready na siyang ulit harapin ang mundo. Here, we're gonna divide this into three parts. I'll share with you the first two right now, and then we'll take our seats, we'll bring our guests, and then mamaya, towards the end, I'll also do the last part. This is the first part of His invitation. It says, Come with me. Sino sa inyo nakatanggap na ng invitation? Birthday, an event, or here at the feast, yes? Di ba naka-imbita na tayo? Or sometimes tayo yung nag-imbita? Di ba? You will only say yes to an invitation, most especially if you know the person. You will only say yes to the invitation if you believe in the person. And in this case, maybe as the Lord invites us, we ask, kilala ba natin si Lord na nag i sa atin? Kasi kung kilala natin siya, we will immediately say yes to Him. Sometimes, we will say busy tayo and we you know, no, don't realize kung ganong kahalaga yung invitation niya at opportunity niya sa'yo. Kaya nga ang ating buong panalangin for this series is this. It's from St. Augustine's saying or prayer that goes something like this. Together, Our hearts were made for you, O Lord, and they are restless until they rest in you. Panginoon, hindi mahapanatag ang puso ko, ang buhay ko, kung wala ka sa buhay ko. We want to experience this invitation of God. And friend, today, the Lord is inviting you. Come. The Lord is inviting you to come. All of you who are tired and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Tignan ulit ang katabi. Mukha bang kailangan niya na magpahinga? I'm not talking about rest in peace, ta? But really physical rest, yes? How many needs that? Physical rest? Emotional rest? Financially be at peace, yes? Relationship, yes? Kailangan natin yan. And the Lord is inviting you. Sabihin mo sa kanya, friend, say yes to God. Finally, or second to the last, kasi mamaya meron pang continuation to, Sabi niya, come with me by yourselves. By yourselves. And here we want to share with you that you are your most important company. Enjoy na enjoy ka in the company of your friends, family, with people, pero dapat make a decision to be your first, your own best friend. Amen? Because let's face it, when you look into the studies of people na talagang may mga toxic relationship, they're not doing well with their relationships in their lives. When you trace back, they're having a relationship with themselves. They're also toxic with themselves. They're too hard with themselves. They're too, you know, bird, lahat ng burden, yung pressure, ibinibigay nila sa sarili nila. And that's why, friend, take this by heart. The most important conversation you'll ever have is your conversation with yourself. Do you talk to yourself? Diba? Do I talk to myself? O, diba? Kinausap mo nga yung sarili mo. But really, yung mga sinasabi mo sa sarili mo, maybe bago ko pumasok, o kaya mayroong isang special event, and then you do that self-talk, most of the times, it's negative self-talk. And that's why, before we pray, I want you now to bring out your phones. Can you bring out your phones? We'll make this very practical. Come on, bring out your phones. Sana yung naman kayo mag-selfie, diba? I want you to bring out your phones. There's a, an activity we did this similar in the past, but I want you to do that. I want you to love yourself the way God loves you. Do you have your phones with you now? Open your camera, selfie mode. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, come on, open it. Kung wala kang cellphone, maki cellphone ka sa katabi mo. Sige, pwede na rin mag selfie. Grow, go, selfie. Yeah, and smile. And then this time, this will be our prayer. I want you to look at yourself. And again, our invitation is love yourself the way God loves you. And when God looks at us, sinitingnan yung pangit sa atin. He looks in our beauty, in our goodness, in our greatness. So I want you now to affirm yourself. Look at your selfie mode. Tingnan mo yung sarili mo. Sabihin mo sa kanya. As if God is the one telling you, you are beautiful. You are amazing. You are awesome. You are gifted. You are good. Inside and out. You are blessed. You are a blessing. 
you are love. Amen. Amen and amen. Let's give the Lord a big hand. Palapakan natin siya. Come on, come on. Celebrate God's goodness to us today. Thy word, O God. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Come on, let's give the Lord a big hand. Palapakan natin siya. Everyone take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. I want you to take your seats and say to the person beside you, trust and surrender. We have two special guests today. The one that I'll be calling first is, the, again, no, a good friend of mine, fellow servant. He's actually helping me out in my events, in my gigs, even outside the feast. So tatawagin ko siya in a while. And then after that, I'll be calling a couple, boyfriend, girlfriend sila. Uh, and they'll be sharing as well their journey uh, in experiencing God's peace. So the first person I'll be calling is Elaine Iwa. Can we give her a round of applause? Thank you so Good afternoon! Ayan, so, tayin ko lang yung slides. Slides, please. Ayan, so, um, this story is my own story of uh, faith, hope, and love. And, sige, slide po, please. Ayan, so, um, pangarap ko talaga tumayo dito sa stage ng OPM. And it's my uh, silent prayer, no? Na God will allow me to share His faithfulness in my life. But again, I guess uh, God answers prayers in His time. Because last April, may nakita kong um, post about pilgrimage ni Father Bob Maconi sa, um, ano yun, kung saan si Lolo Pio, si Padre Pio. So, Italy yun. And then, sabi ko dun sa caption ko, baka naman, Lolo Pio, isang milagro naman, Lord. Ayan. And then, the week after that, my spiritual mentor, she invited me to be... Um, Ano to? Uh, delegates sa 175th Pope's Worldwide Prayer Network sa Italy. And it will, hap uh, it will happen June. So sabi ko, wow, Italy. Go, go, go ako. No, 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 Nung pa, oh, pa, palapit na ng palapit yung days, kasi April, May, June, dalawang buwan lang ako magpe-prepare. At malaking pera yung kailangan kong yanda. Sabi ko, Lord, parang, parang ano ata, parang mali na nag ako. Parang unti-unti ko nang na, nararamdaman yung big, yung big, yung consequences nung pag-oo ko sa'yo. But then, sabi ko, sige, go lang. So we prepared, tapos, Naghanda na rin kami para sa visa. And then, nung nagpe-prepare ako sa visa, mas lalong dumug dumugundong yung puso ko. Kasi yung doubts, yung worries, sa pera. Tapos, yung hindi ko alam maa-approve ba yung visa ko. But then, sige lang, Lord, you will make this a beautiful story. no? And then, one month kaming naghintay para malaman yung result nung... Uh, visa. And praise God, alam nyo po kung anong result? Na-deny ako. Ang sakit! Talo ko pa yung nakipag-break. No? No. You won't go to Italy. But then, thank God, meron akong support system. I have the FIS OPM, my uh, second family. I have SICAP, yung mga samahan ng mga kabataang katikista sa Marikina. No? Nagdasal sila, uh, gumawa kami ng paraan para mag-reapply or um, i-reconsider. At that time, sukong-suko na ako. Sabi ka talaga, Lord, ano ba yan? Parang hindi naman ata para sa akin to. Baka sobrang yabang ko lang. 
baka may gusto lang akong patunayan sa sarili ko. I was trying to control everything to the point na nagkakasakit na ako, to the point na hindi na ako um, nagpa-function sa work. And I was crying to God na sometimes wala nang lumalabas sa prayer ko. And then I remember, may usapan kami ni Lord, Lord, you will make this one a beautiful story. And then, after ilang days ng pag-agonize kasama ng mga taong kasama ko dun sa uh, papuntang Italy, dalawa kaming na-deny eh. At lagi kaming araw-araw tulala kami. Araw-araw, tinatry namin i-control na o oh, hanap tayo ng taong kilala na pwedeng tumulong sa atin. Hanap tayo ng kilala na pwedeng maging dahilan para ma-approve tayo. But I guess God is telling me, anak, surrender na. Surrender mo na yung laban. And opo, sumuko ako. At sabi ko, Lord, ikaw nang bahala. Kung para sa akin to, para sa akin to. And three days before sila umalis papuntang Italy, tumawag yung spiritual mentor ko. Umiiyak siya. At sabi niya sa akin, Elaine, approved na kayo ni Nico. Kasama ka namin sa Italy. And I was... Shock, crying, kasi sabi ko, ang hirap po manghingi ng pledge nang hindi mo alam kung tuloy ka. Ang hirap, ang hirap mag-prepare ng maleta, tapos malalaman mo on that day, di ka pala kasama. Ayun. But God is faithful. And in my darkest days, His glory shine. Na-approve po yung visa ko and I was able to join them sa 175 Pope's Worldwide Prayer Network. At hindi lang yun, no? We were able to see ng malapitan si Pope. At alam nyo po, meron akong broas. Ayan, isa to sa mga ginamit ko para um, uh, as fundraising dun sa pagpunta ko sa Italy. And you know what? Um... Nung papalapit si Pope, sabi ko, gusto kong ibigay sa kanya to. Kasi sabi ko, ito yung isa sa dahilan, yung patunay, kaya din naka, nakapunta ako sa Italy. At nung nandun kami sa daan at dumadaan siya, sumisigaw talaga ako, Lolo Kiko, Lolo Kiko! Nagwawala talaga ako kasi alam ko na Lolo Kiko yung tawag ng Pilipinas eh, sa kanya. Pero hindi niya, nad nadaanan lang niya kami, nabigyan niya kami ng blessing, pero hindi niya to nakita. Pero maya-maya, bumalik yung guard. And at the same time, tinatanong niya. Tinuturo niya to. Tapos, eh, hindi kami magkaintindihan kasi Italian eh. So, sabi ko na lang, for Papa Francesco, for Papa Francesco. Tapos, kinuwa po niya. Sa inyo na po yan. Ayan. And then, alam nyo ba, sobrang galing. Alam talaga ni Lord na sigurista ako eh. Kasi, sabi ko, yung guard yung nakakuha. Hindi kaya yung guard yung kumain nun. No? But then, Later that afternoon, namit ng mga kasama ko yung isa sa secretary ni Pope na yung office niya, katabi lang ng office ni Pope. And sabi niya, lahat ng mga regalo nung umaga na nareceive ng guards, diretsyong makakarating kay Pope. So yung brawas po namin, nakarating kay Pope. So sabi ko talaga, God answers prayer in His time. Na kapag hindi ko kinontrol yung mga bagay-bagay, kapag, um, alam mo yon nagtiwala lang ako, ibibigay niya. At totoo po, napuntahan ko yung lugar kung nasan si Padre Pio, no? nakapunta ako sa Coliseo, nakapunta ako sa kung nasan si St. Francis Assisi, yung tomb ni St. Paul, ni Pope John Paul, ang dami kong napuntahan. Pero lahat yon hindi sobrang mag-sink in sa akin nung nandun ako. Ang tanging naala, naaalala ko lang, dito pa po si Daniela kasama namin. Ayan, no? Nakahabol din siya. Ang tanging naaalala ko lang during my 12 days stay in Italy, was God's faithfulness in my life. No, hindi po ko faithful, but God is faithful and He is true to His promises. Thank you.
Salamat, Elaine. Mamaya tatawagin natin siya ulit. But uh, right now, diretso na natin kagad with, again, our power couple, Alan and Julie. Let's give them a round of applause. They're also regular faces here sa Feast OPM. Mo especially, ayan, si Doc Good afternoon. Ju Good afternoon. Ayan, si Doc Julie, uh, uh, in a way, is helping us out sa ating uh, medical ministry. Although ang ating panalangin is walang maging mga kliyente, di ba? Mas gugustoy natin na safe at uh, okay sila. Anyway, thank you for saying yes, Alan, Julie. Uh, maybe what we wanted to ask first is Doc. Ayan, si Doc Julie, medical doctor. Si Alan naman is an engineer. Pero magandang tanongin rin natin, no? Doc, any uh, interesting figures about stress, burnout, um, de depression, so at least maybe that can add uh, on to the, so far, yung mga napag-usapan natin last Sunday. Okay, so I'll, I'd be a little bit medical here, so please bear with me. <laughs> so, ngayong 2019, actually, just this January 2019, na itala sa World Health Organization, na sa Philippines, meron tayong 3.3 million people who are actually depressed. And a majority of those, um, yung males, and majority of the males are the ones prone for suicidal ideation. When you say suicidal ideation, they have ideas of killing themselves or they have um, attempts of mm. killing themselves as well. And aside from that, I actually want to share with you na yung top four, top four professions that are actually prone for depression. Ayan, so take the note first, of that, huh? <laughs> The first one is healthcare. Yung mga nurses, yung mga uh, domestic care. Um, lahat ng nag-work in the hospital or even in healthcare are the most prone for depression. Second is those are in the arts. Musicians, um, artists, those in graphic designs. But artists in general, they are the ones prone to, second, most prone to depression. Third, you'd be surprised, teachers. Teachers are on the Teachers third. in the house? Yeah, di ba? At least alam natin, di ba? At least alam niyo na. Third, prone po tayo na, uh, to depression. And the fourth, kaya ko siya ihuhuli, medical doctors. We are very prone to depression. So, mm, I hope yep. uh, that enlightened you a little bit about it. So, sabihin mo sa kayo mo, alagaan ang sarili. Alagaan, alagaan sarili. ang sarili. Alagaan di ba? Sarili. But of course, no, these are interesting facts that uh, Dr. Julie, Alan, maybe you can share um, a personal experience no, of uh, you going through stress, burnout, or maybe you know someone who went through depression. At least, uh, they can also relate with your story. Hi, uh, good afternoon everyone. So, share ko lang yung naging experience ko. Sabi kong lowest of low ako mm -hmm. nung siguro mga 2014. Mm -hmm. Siguro mga, an ano pa ako nun bagong graduate nung nagtatake ako ng board exam. So, uh, yeah, nag-aral naman ako. Uh, mahirap yung board exam pero unfortunately hindi ako pumasa nung una. Mm -hmm. Kami na nun, wala, wala pa kaming one year. Mm -hmm. So, kanong fort niya ako, iyak-iyak, ganyan-ganyan. <laughs> <laughs> Nakaka-burn ako talaga kasi nung, masabi ko nung board exam, doon ako talaga nag-aral eh. Kasi nung college, medyo-medyo hindi ako nag-aaral. Ito yung tipong alan, ibinigay mo yung best mo, but yes, your best opo. wasn't good enough. Talagang hindi no? ako, hindi ako umiinom ng kape. Talagang nung board exam, napakapi ako ang dami kong 3-in-1 na, <laughs> <laughs> na nainom. Tapos yun, unfortunately, wala. Pero, after nun, after nung iyak, ang ginawa kong una is, syempre, nag-question ako, uh, Lord, mm. bakit? Ano, uh, mahal, ang dami namin binayara, ang yes, <laughs> dami gastos, yes. ang dami kong puyat, bakit? Pero, after nun, um, di ako masyado nag, ano, hindi ako masyado nag sa tears, di ako masyado nag -sag. Same day, same night, bukas agad ako ng libro, kahit di ko alam kung anong kailangan kong basahin, wow. basa agad. Mm. So, I, uh, parang may bumulong sa akin na, sige, bawi ka lang. Ganyan na, siguro na kulang ka, uh, kulang ka sa aral. And then, the next day, um, yun nga, uh, nag-aral ako, and then, napagtanto ko, oo oh, nga, nagkulang, nagkulang naman talaga ako. So, I just have to, you know, um, trust na kay God na, oh Lord, babawi ako sa second time. Mm. Fortunately, hindi lahat ng subjects na take ko, isang subject na lang kailangan ko i-take, so, Yon, thank you, Lord. And uh, fortunately, second try. 
Okay naman. No, Yay! Yeah, Palamang ka natin, no? So, bumagsak, no? Pero hindi mo hinayaang tumambay sa problema. Yes. Uh-huh. Nag-try ka ulit, and then now, at least, no? Moving forward na in life. Yes. That was great, Alan. Thank you. How about you, Dr. Judy? <laughs> uh, for me, noong 2015, my mom suddenly died. Um, so, ma- medyo masakit sa akin yun kasi we, were, we are in a family of doctors and yet, yung mom ko all of a sudden namatay. Hindi namin alam yung cause. So, parang suntok sa pride naming mag- magpamilya yun kasi bu- buong pamilya, doktor, tapos namatay yung mom ko. Nang hindi namin alam yung cause. And that was 2015. And then 2016, nag-migrate naman yung buong family ko sa Amerika. Ang natira na lang dito sa Philippines is ako and one of my brothers. So, um, I'll be medical ulit. Ang stress sa buhay um, is equivalent to a heart attack. And the top most, two, uh, the top most stressful life event na ma- it will equal to a heart attack is a loss of a family member and migrating to another country. So both top two stresses naramdaman ko. So at that time, I was really, I won't say depressed, but I was really, really down. Kapit talaga ako sa kay Alan, kumapit talaga ako sa feast, kumapit ako kay God. But it came to a point na nag-question din ako. I think that's only human that you question Because we've been faithful as a family sa, um, sa faith namin and then that would happen. So kapit lang talaga kay Lord and then surround yourselves with good people. Surround yourselves with good friends, good sets of friends who will lead you always go back to God. Amen. Sabihin sa katabi, kapit lang. Kapit lang mga best. Maybe just to close this part. Alan, maybe you wanted to encourage someone who is maybe going through rough times right now, na stressed, yes. na burned out, na depressed. Yes. What can we say to them? <laughs> so uh, personally, uh, I would like to share yung li- usual kong ginagawa para maka maka ano yon makagaan sa loob. Mm. Kasi may mga stress talaga na maho control mo at di mo talaga maho control. Yung maho control mo, uh, masasabi ko na. You have to do something about it. Kunwari, uh, nag-gain ka ng weight, di naman, ma- di naman maiwasan yan. Um, kailangan mo talagang i-push yung sarili mo na, na to have knowledge and to have that first step na to do something about your weight. At kung hindi naman, uh, kung, uh, hindi naman about sa weight, like for example, traffic, di maiwasan traffic sa Manila, ba't ba ako nat- natatraffic kesa mag-complain, ganyan-ganyan. Um, but di ka maghanap ng time na like for uh, for like five minutes or kahit one hour kang nasa EDSA. Um, maghanap ka ng like uh, article, ganyan, spend uh, spend time sa mga useful na mga article or may pag-usap ka sa, ano, sa katabi mo, get off social media. Or kung mahili ka mong social media, ang dami ngayon mga negative post. Kung wala ang sasabing maganda, wag ka na lang mag-comment or wag, lalo na wag, wag mo nang i-share kung uh, kung negative man lang yung uh, share na yon. And second, always look at the bright side ng mga nangyayari. Kunare uh, na, nagkaaberya sa MRT sa train. Um, isipin mo na lang br- yung bright side bakit nagkaaberya. Uh, siguro ayaw mo na ako ni Lord makapunta doon sa destination ko kasi baka may mangyaring masama sa akin doon. Diyan ka muna. Yeah. Iyon yung mga controllable mo. So, yung mga uncontrollable naman sa akin, like weather, yung mga sudden death of family members, um, wala eh, andyan yan eh. So, you will just have to let go and let God. And uh, you just trust Him and um, alam natin lahat na may plano siya para sa atin lahat. Ganda. Yeah. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. Doc, meron mga pahabol? <laughs> um, siguro, lalo na sa age natin ngayon, we are very... Uh, gusto natin mabibilis, gusto natin instant, gusto natin stress-free. Siguro my advice would be, don't strive for a stress-free, worry-free, problem-free life. Because that life doesn't exist. Strive for a life with God at the center. Because with God, every burden, every problem is lighter and bearable. And lahat ng problema, lahat ng pinagdadaanan, nagkakaroon ng purpose and meaning as long as you're with God. Yeah. Thank you. Very well said. I want you to stay here. Ella, can you come back here? And alongside with them, we'll be praying for them. Can I call some our servants, kung kayang pumunta dito? 
sa harapan. Uh, can we just give them a round of applause to all the servants of Peace OPM? Come on, come on. Let's gather here sa harapan. As also our tech team is uh, taking care of our prompter. Thank you guys. Sige, all the servants that can come here, pati sa music, sama na rin kayo. In a while naman, we'll already invite them for worship. So, uh, yep, maybe here, on the sides. No? Alam nyo yung mga servants natin, as they come here, um, you see them up and about. No, They're always uh, on all smiles. And you see them um, serving you every Sunday. Uh, alam nyo, what we'll do is uh, greet you, welcome to the feast, dito po kayo maupo, ganyan. Tama ba? Tama? You experience that. No? Generally, kahit sa kayo magpuntang feast. And the servants are not paid, they're volunteers. Pero just like you, normal na mga tao to, hindi to mga immortal. <laughs> May mga pinagdadaanan rin sila, katulad mo. So I want you to know that we're not exempted. Even I, as your leader, as your builder here, as your preacher, we're not exempted from stress. So we go through burnout as well. We go through depression, sadness, katulad ninyo. But maybe, ito lang po yung aking paniniwala. The reason why every Sunday, despite of the challenges, despite sa mga problema nila, Kaya sila every Sunday naglilingkod because they know they are serving not just you. They are serving a God at dun sila humuhugot ng lakas, ng inspirasyon, ng grasya na sa kabila ng kanilang pinagdadaan, itutuloy nila ito. They know where they get their strength. It's not from them. It's not just from one another. It is from our God, the source of everything. So my dear friends, same thing. Kung saan ang hugot nila, doon ka rin humugot. Huwag ka lang puro hugot. <laughs> humugot ka sa kanya na magbibigay ng inspirasyon at lakas at ng grasya para magpatuloy sa buhay. Amen? Can you just encourage the person beside you, tapikin mo siya, sabihin mo sa kanya, humugot ka kay Lord. Can we just extend our hands towards our guest? And our servants, if they're near you, you can extend your hands to our servants as well. You can also extend your hands to one another. Lord, we want to thank you for the gift of service, our volunteers, our servants. And most especially, Lord, we want to live up to you, all of our concerns. Naglilingkod kami do every Sunday, umaatin kami every Sunday, pero Lord, deep inside, marami kami pinagdadaana. And that's why we're just grateful, Lord, to be given the opportunity to serve and to be one community here at Feast. OPM. Ikaw ang paghuhugutan namin ng lakas, inspirasyon, at ng grasya para magpatuloy sa buhay. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Palapakan natin si Lord. Stay here. Quickly, gusto kong batiin ng happy birthday ang ating mga core servants. Up on stage, Rose Torres, Clark Vinoya, Shelly Fulliero. May pa-cake si Mayor, si Yorme. Okay lang po ba pagdasal rin natin itong mga tao to kasi they're behind the scenes but they're doing a lot. Let's extend our hands towards them. At sino po yung mga birthday celebrants ng July? Tayo na rin po kayo. Birthday celebrants ng July, tayo na, please. Anniversary celebrants, tayo na rin po. Come on, let's do this. Extend your hands towards our celebrants. Lord, salamat po sa regalo ng buhay, sa pag-ibig, at lalong lalal na uh, for people who are inspiring us to give our best to you and to your people for Rose, for Clark, for Shelly, for their loved ones, and for those who are standing here, Lord, we're celebrating their birthdays during the month of July, their anniversaries as well. Lord, we leave this up to you. Salamat sa iyo nang gagaling ang biyaya, at ikaw ang pinaka-biggest blessing ng buhay namin. Grant the desires of our heart, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Palapakan natin si Lord, Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Elaine. Thank you, Doc Julie and Alan. Everyone, take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. I'll be asking you now to stand now. Tayo tayong lahat. We read this passage. She'll show that on screen from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 6, verse 31. Come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. And... The last part of that is to a quiet place. 
Notice that we live in a world na sobrang ingay. Definitely, pag uwi mo sa bahay, may ingay. Sa trabaho, may ingay. Sa eskulahan, may ingay. In your commute, may ingay. Masyadong maingay yung mundo. And the Lord is inviting us to take this moment of silence. Pag sinabi mo yung salitang silent, everybody say, that's silent. You spell it out and you flip it. Pag kanirarrange mo yung words, it's actually listen. Hindi lang katahimikan, pero kailangan ring makinig. Most of the time, aminin natin, tayo ang laging nagsasalita. Kapag nahanalangin tayo sa Diyos, most of the time, tayo ang nagsasalita. We don't allow Him to speak to us. And that's why, maybe that's my invitation to you, not just now, but in your life, take moments of silence. Katulad ni Jesus, after ng bising, ginawa niya sa marami mga bagay, He withdraws Himself and He actually takes some times of silence. It's also shared here that let's get away from the crowds for a while and rest. Kaya okay po magbakasyon. Kami po, ng mga builders, naging busy together with the servants, naging busy po after the tag concert. I'll be honest with you, nakaka-stress, nandun yung burnout, nakakapagod. Kaya I'm also looking forward to tomorrow. Maybe some of you, Monday is your work day, but for me, it's our rest day. And that's why I'm looking forward to that, to have more time with my family, to have some moments. So, yung tipong wala ka lang gagawin. Tama ba? Sabihin sa katabi, okay lang rin tumambay. Okay lang tumambay, paminsan-minsan yung talagang wala ang gagawin. Kasi minsan yung mga tambay moments na yan, yung wala ang ginagawa, you're doing nothing. Those are the times that you will be replenished. You will have that recharge. And maybe that breakthrough idea, aha moment, will come in. It's also an invitation for us, my dear friends, and we take that moment of silence. Or when you move forward in your day-to-day living, Monday to Friday, Saturday, you go back again here on Sunday, let's always be aware, watch out for the bo- voice of fear. Kasi yung totoo naman talaga, kaya tayo napapagod, kaya tayo na-stress, kaya tayo na-burnout, kasi ang pinapakinggan natin, yung nagsasalita, is yung ating mga takot. We're afraid of many things. If you're a parent, you're afraid. Kamusta yung paglaki ng mga anak ko? If you have your family, niisip mo kung paano mo itataguyod yung pamilya mo. Kung ikaw ay nagtatrabaho, you're already afraid na matatapos mo ba yung mga workloads mo, yung projects mo. Some of you, marami mga binabayaran. No? Meron kayong mga inutang and your creditors are already asking you, magbayad ka na. No? Kaya talagang lahat na ng excuses, naisip mo na, you're afraid of the future. You're afraid of the relationship that you have right now. You're afraid of many things. Maybe some of us are afraid magkakaroon pa ba ako ng one true love? Dadating pa rin kaya yung talagang inihanda sa akin ni Lord. We're afraid of many things, my dear friends. And many people burn out because they're overwhelmed by fear. They're overwhelmed by fear. Alam nyo, meron raw dalawang major emotions lang. It's love and fear. Pag-ibig at takot. It's not love and hatred. It's love and fear. Anong boses ang papakinggan mo? The Lord is reminding us today with His word, perfect love cast out fear. Ang pag-ibig ng Diyos ay perpekto, kaya niya lahat ng pinagdadaanan mo. Kinaya mo dati, kinaya niyo ni Lord, kinaya mo ngayon at kakayanin mo sa mga susunod na panahon. I want you now to have this moment of silence as we rest in God. I want you to bow down your heads, put both of your hands near your hearts, close your eyes. The Lord is inviting you to come with Him. Bring yourself. No pretensions. Ikaw lang. And He's inviting you to a quiet place. To rest in His presence. To relax in His love. Take that deep breath. Inhale. As you experience God's love, exhale all the worries. Inhale. All God's blessing for you. And exhale all of those anxieties. Inhale all of God's grace, healing, anointing for you. And exhale 
all of your problems. The Lord is giving you an embrace right now. I want you to embrace yourself. See yourself being embraced by God. Sobrang tight. And He's telling you, you are my child. I will never forsake you. I will never forget you. I will be here for you every step of the way. Kakayanin natin to together. Magkasama tayo. I have so much plan for you, my child. Experience an abundant life, an overflowing life. If you feel tired, if you feel that you are running out on empty, if you are low bat, dead bat, this is the best time for you to recharge in my love. Trust and surrender everything to our God. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Say this prayer after me. I receive all your love, all your blessings, all your healing, your anointing. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Let's give Lord a big hand. Palapakan natin siya. And let's just continue to worship God. Experience His presence right here, right now. Hallelujah. We worship Jesus. Let your perfect love take away all our fears, dear Lord. Praise Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. So surrender all our fears. Surrender to our God. You 
say it is what it is one. Come on, this is the time to pull surrender and shout all the fears, the pain. And as an offering to God, Amen. We want to praise the Lord. Come on, raise your hands. Raise your hands to God. Trust and surrender everything to Him. Come on, raise your hands up into God. Yes. We entrust all our worries. We entrust all our dreams. All the demons are raising their flags of surrender. One shout of your name and fear will run out of breath. There is nothing so powerful the fortress can render. In the name of the cross, life is one within us. All the demons are raising yeah. their flags of surrender. One shout of your name and fear will run out of breath. There is nothing so powerful the fortress can render. We In the name of the cross, life is one. Come on, let's all come on. All the demons are raising their flags of surrender. One shout of your name and fear will run out of breath. There is nothing so powerful the fortress can render. In the name of the cross, life is one with the Lord. All the demons are raising the flags of surrender. We shout of your name and fear will run out of breath. There is nothing so powerful the fortress can render. In the name of my God, I will praise your word. As you believe, love you become. Let's declare. Your word is perfect grace. You are power over the grave. You've done it before. You can do it again. When you say it is what it is for. All together as one family. Your word. me come on raise your hands up in the air Lord I give you my trust I surrender to you everything all of my problems my dreams and I know with you nothing is impossible in Jesus name we pray amen and amen come on let's give her the big hand Amen and amen. Everyone take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Say to the person beside you, trust and surrender. And before we send you off, of course, with our song, uh, quick announcement. Next Sunday, my dear friends, we are launching the biggest inspirational event of the year, the Kerygma Conference. Palapakan natin si Lord. It's an exciting time. So mark that. 
Next Sunday, August 4, we'll be launching it and you don't want to miss yung kanilang mga promos. When you look into your bulletins, sa likod nun, nandun yung announcement. And there's a special promo where you get a shirt and a discounted ticket. You know, bilang mga Pinoy, di ba? Minsan nagkakraming tayo kapag huli. Pero kapag uh, bumili tayo ng mas maaga, di ba? Mas meron mga freebies. You don't want to miss it. So, sabihin mo sa katabi mo, Kerygma Conference. Also, we're excited because we're launching a brand new series next Sunday. And the title is Creed. Everybody say Creed. Exciting po ito because we'll be able to discover what we believe and what we believe is something that we will see how practical it is, how powerful it is sa ng ng buhay natin. So with that, I don't know if the video is ready, pero we'll just skip the video. Mamaya po, we're excited for our tag musical concert. Sabihin mo sa kanimo, let's tag together. So again, the door opens at 7 p.m. There'll be lines. Make use of that time to get to know the people around you. Right after this, have an early dinner because definitely tonight we'll have an amazing extravaganza of talents. We'll see you at that concert. All right? Maraming maraming salamat po. We'll see you next Sunday here at Feast OPM where you experience the overflow. First time at any, let's gather here sa harapan ng stage. Take it away, guys. The one that's all together we pray. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Can you say it one more time? Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. World without end. I'm blessed to be a blessing. Yeah. I'm blessed, I'm blessed. Living in the overflow I'm blessed, I'm blessed Blessed to be a blessing I'm blessed, I'm blessed Living in the overflow I'm blessed, I'm blessed Blessed to be a blessing I'm blessed, I'm blessed I'm Living in the overflow One more time, I'm blessed I'm blessed, I'm blessed Blessed. blessed to be a blessing. I'm blessed, I'm blessed. Living in the overflow. Living in the overflow. Living in the overflow. Living in the overflow. Everybody sing, oh, oh, oh. I'm living in the overflow. Say, oh, oh, oh. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us here at the Feast OP.